Hello Scorpio and welcome to the Lucky Tarot. Thank you guys so much for being here. As promised to you my beautiful Scorpios, this is your extended bonus reading. If you guys haven't watched the video dated June 16th to the 23rd, I highly recommend that you guys do so that you can be able to follow through the energies that we are going to be discussing. This is mainly to extend those energies and see where this is going, the potential and the future, stuff like that. And if you have already watched, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be really going through more of the energies that we, we already talked about, but add more information as we go, okay? So, Please bear in mind that these are all general energies. It may not resonate for all of you guys. You would know if this reading is for you because it will hit you and it will just make sense. And if it doesn't resonate for you guys at all, that's okay. There, there will be more uploads in the coming days and weeks, right? We're going to be asking for three cards from this deck for spirit. What can you say about Scorpios? Ooh, and spirit gave us four that jumped that jumped but i want to discuss first how beautiful that reading was for you guys scorpio it has been one of the best energies for a long time and i and i highly sense that it has been a long time coming for those of you that resonated well with that um with that weekly reading i'm so truly happy that i have read that energy for you guys okay so we have here be open to success it says here, Scorpio, look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You have balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but do not be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. So with regards to the connection, I feel like, yeah, you do recognize that this connection is already bound to be successful. We did see the emperor and the empress. We see a lot of energies in that video that talk about you really working well with this person and building your empire you see this person as if you can build a solid foundation that can last for a lifetime um, I feel like you mirror a lot of each other's energy although there may be areas that you have to adjust um, about each other but nonetheless you really see each other as your better half it says here as well don't be shy so I feel like we did see the seven of swords energy in your reading in that video and that were that that's where it got a little bit tricky for you guys because the person you're dealing with does not want to be kept a secret we did see that that person didn't want to be kept um, in a low profile although they appreciate your need for privacy they totally respect that and I just kind of got that vibe that this person just wants the relationship to be recognized to want to be out there in the world right this person wants to expand the connection in a lot more ways so this is actually you trying to get more balance right because you can really be more open to getting to know this person in a whole new level if you guys you know go in a different direction like see where it leads but also pace yourself scorpio right this is not something that should shock you but this is something that can really push you towards a, a new chapter a new level with this person also says here that this person will shower you with the gratitude you deserve so again we pick up that energy that this person saw you as the empress that means you embody the woman or the man that they want to be with and also wants to shower you with a lot of abundance again that very protective energy from the emperor so this person not only wants to you know assure that you both will eventually build the relationship in strong foundation but this person will never miss a chance to express you how grateful they are for you being in their life because they see that you are also mirroring their energy that means you both are one in the same where you want this relationship to go although the approach might be different because this person really is open more to the public while you totally want to be low-key with this um, but this is something you both will eventually overcome is what I see okay so again wonderful things are happening in your life Scorpio because you listen to your intuition so we have here eight of emotion it says here you feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life in your heart you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world and I just have to cut this off because this I mean reading this because yes it is this person's energy it says here you know this person wants to be out there this person maybe is starting to feel like maybe scorpio does not want the world to know i mean what is it what is it about me that this person may not be um 
open to the public about this person is maybe having those small doubts here and there thinking when are you going to actually let this person be known to the world that you both you and them exist like this relationship exists you know says here as well it may be time to switch careers move to a new home or city or initiate other important changes do what's right for you and seek out your magical life yes that is it this person just wants to seek some form of magic in this connection in a different sense although they do want this form of privacy that you both have th this person just wants some changes and i see that this person is just waiting for you right they want to they want to see if you're willing to go with them in this path maybe change careers or move to a new home however it may resonate for all of you guys uh, but there's like a movement towards being potentially more out there uh, but this person is not forcing you they are aware that you you are having your own pacing here but it's just them longing for something else for something more for you and and them right we also have your ten of action you are working too hard the angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health now i do understand scorpio that as much as you can you handle situations on your own but what this card is actually saying if this situation is hard for you to maybe um, manifest in fruition at this point because there's a lot of things that you need to do other priorities like work career getting the way from you and this person um, following through on your plans or there might be some imbalance in your life at the moment that's why career and personal life are not going hand in hand so how that translates is that maybe you're setting aside your plans with this person because you are busy and nothing is really wrong with that but be careful if you're straining yourself too much or that this relationship is affected in the long term right it says here as well be willing to ask help from others so you have your partner here who truly wants to help out like they see you struggling they see that there's more that this relationship can actually have this person wants to take care of you and is already planning out a lot of things for the future that may be able to help you and them move forward, right? Uh, remember that this person is your better half. This person is your match. So they would understand your need time to time to take care of your own needs. You perhaps not wanting to tell this person how you feel because we did see the Seven of Swords energy in the past reading. You might just, you know, let those emotions stack up and you might just blow out of nowhere right because of your exhaustion so take some load off you know it's it's okay to let this person know how you, you truly feel and and what the burden is that you're carrying around so they can better understand you right so six of action it says here as well scorpio what a wonderful experience for you your project is a total success bring your efforts well done if someone who can help you offers assistance know that this person is heaven sent and say yes yes corpse yes this is heaven sent this is your match made in heaven i have been telling you guys from the previous video so really do what's right for you and you know if you're exhausted if you if you want to pace yourself then do so but if you see that this is already affecting you and maybe you're blocking the success right success in your relationship that means whatever direction you guys are going to go um see to it if that needs to be taken care of and know that this person is right there beside you not only is this relationship going to bring you success but it's actually going to give you a lot of blessings like recognitions maybe even you know the success that you will get because of this partnership remember i told you guys you are the empress and the emperor you're building your empire so working together as a power couple right you can expect a lot of wonderful abundance awards promotions recognitions um, I see that you're also going to get a lot of praises, right? This is you learning to balance yourself and allowing yourself to be open, um, to expand in a different way that you haven't been before because of this person, okay? So we're going to put this on the side and let's get more specific energies using the Tarot. Scorpio, Scorpio, in regards to the person in the video. So again, if you guys haven't watched that video, this is an extended reading to that. So make sure that you watch the video in full so you would better understand the energies here, okay? Six of Swords. Let's get more cards out. 
Knights of Cups, Knights of Swords. So you guys could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I'm seeing that you guys have maybe had some misunderstanding with the Six of Swords, and I'm going to clarify that in a while. But I see a lot of people over here, so that, and this is just for a very few of you. I feel as though someone is upset because there could be two offers here. All right, there's a third party energy that I'm picking up. And I don't feel like, well, it could be your energy, wherein someone from your past is a bit angry, and maybe that's why you're moving forward with this new person, with the emperor. Um, emperor and empress, this person is the one you love at the moment, the one that really uh, fires and ignites your your passion, right? But this knight of swords, whoever this is, I'm picking the vibe wherein this person is upset, maybe, that you're moving forward, that you have reached a different level now of detaching yourself is what I see. Someone is upset here and a very compelled to maybe get their point across. But you are just ready to move forward is what I see, right? Someone is trying to chase you to convince you maybe, Scorpio. Maybe that's the reason why you're keeping things low-key for some of you though. That's not for a lot of you, but for some of you. Because someone here is trying to get your attention. Another person. A third-party energy. I'm going to clarify that. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, there we go. The Seven of Swords energy. Maybe you're not really telling this person, the Emperor, that you're still trying to like... Yeah, Ten of, Eight of Swords and Three of Pentacles also came up. So I see a lot of people over here. Maybe you feel trapped not being able to work well with this person or that you're not really having the energy or the determination to free yourself from a situation that you worked hard for maybe this is a relationship from the past is what i feel like and maybe that's why you're keeping things low-key with your current partner there could have been some deception in the past as well but that I, I feel like this is a past energy okay but what's coming in the near future this person maybe intends to offer you something new like take you away from all of that right to help you move forward from all of that and it's safe for you to proceed in a different in a different kind of chapter with them to let all of this go this drama whatever it is that's been holding you back from going out and exploring the relationship taking things to the next level and such right so maybe this is self-imposed with the eight of swords this is not the reality of your situation anymore. Even though there's someone from the past is maybe contacting you, you feel trapped about the connection. If you work on better plans for this person with you and this person um, that you are with at the moment, there are better chances of you moving forward faster and quicker, right? So maybe Eight of Swords, someone here feels trapped. This could be the energy of the other person as well, where they feel trapped because you are keeping things low key. And they're trying to make plans, right? Make plans with you to move forward in love. See, that could also be the possibility. This person is feeling like they want to badly make um, major improvements. They're thinking to themselves, how could you work better together in a way that um, making everyone happy in this picture? Because this person doesn't want to be kept as a secret is what I see. They really coming in the near future where some unexpected changes and developments. Eight of Cups. Someone is moving forward towards commitment. Wow, Scorpio. So you're walking away from that of which has been holding you back, right? There's a lot of movement with Six of Swords and Eight of Cups. Not only are you mentally deciding to walk away, but emotionally to finally bring yourself into a state of balance again with the Hierophant and possibly committing to this Emperor. Maybe you're starting to feel more and more at home with your partner. You guys are maybe even doing some counseling over here, some healing. Um counseling therapy sessions with your partner maybe just talking it out maybe having someone to give you both advice over the situation maybe you're asking with um with your person you know what is the best way to release some of the energies that are blocking you from trusting more and the ace of cups is here yeah 
there's going to be that sense of new energy a new desire for commitment a different type of commitment this is not needing to go in secret this is not needing to be you know a bit sneaky this is actually genuinely wanting to express the love in any shape way or form i think that the cards are showing more of your energy scorpio in dealing with this person because the spirit wants to bring forward that you shouldn't even fear this new person in your life or whatever that is that's uh, coming to you because it's meant to be for you new love is here right this this is a beautiful omen to receive um, what is coming in the near future wheel of fortune and the queen of pentacles could be an earth sign that you are dealing with as well taurus energy and picking up but yeah what's coming for you in the near future is a radical shift a good change uh, success is on the way there will be a lot of forward movement there will be a lot of recognition if you work well with this person emperor and empress as we saw in the previous video you guys will have you know an opportunity to really build a solid foundation queen of pentacles is also someone who's very stable um i feel like you both are trying to build a comfortable home you guys are definitely going to focus in the home now and maybe in your business in your money everything you put your heart and soul into with this person you both are going to manifest it with the wheel of fortune so big spiritual and material success is coming your way okay yeah and ten of pentacles you might even you know finally build a family marriage i see marriage i see kids i see that there's going to be a beautiful plot twist in this story so there's no need to fear this relationship for you guys I see that you're going to be very happy that this person is the one um, that you're going to end with, end up with, is what I see. There's that sense of Ten of Pentacles is the happy ever after. You both are not only going to be happy with this family, but you're going to have success. Like everything you could ever need, you could ever want, right? Only a few people get to the Ten of Pentacles energy. So if that happens, congratulations. Like you guys really did something really wonderful queen of cups i feel as though there's going to be a lot of selfless and compassionate love with the six of wands there's going to be equal give and take in this relationship i sense that energy what else and the death card so this is you scorpio um also with the queen of cups you're going to become more and more intuitive with this situation and therefore getting more success again be open to success this relationship only wants to bring you forward in that next chapter of your life with uh whatever is meant to come to you you know what i mean everything you work hard for is going to come full circle if this relationship or situation has been hard for you for a while things are going to be improving in this department even though it has been a challenge for you to work with this person who actually is meant to be in your life i feel like after time and how after healing takes place ace of cups and hierophant you got you're gonna feel recommitted to each other and then start experiencing this um unexpected turn of events like huge and massive blessings coming in your way for the next level right moon card there's gonna be ending of confusion ending of maybe things being kept hidden there's again that element of secrecy over here something is going to be brought to light a truth is going to come out most likely to help you gain awareness and you don't need to have to be defensive about the situation anymore because you fully understand now right the changes that are going through and lastly we have the star card which is a card of healing i love this so you're healing not only the confusion but the defensiveness maybe lack of um trust maybe if that's an issue for you guys about this person because eventually you would realize that this person is really good for you they have good intentions towards you i feel like this person wants to help you out in any shape way or form and the star card brings about healing there's going to be ending of arguments is what i see someone is going to be more loving here more generous and listening to one another's needs there's give and take six of wands nine of wands there is endurance and patience to one another like you're gonna see it through i don't see that you guys are giving up uh the only way that this situation is gonna be sorted out is if you conquer your fears here if you conquer your fears with this spirit scorpio knowing that this is meant to happen and this is your better half right 
Um, I say that with confidence because I see a lot of this card, especially with the Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. You know, you will have the stability that you want over here. And it will only happen if you end the confusion. Whatever this is that, that's playing in your head, making you believe that the situation is, you know, not going to be successful. Something like that. Now, to end this reading, we're going to get some advice cards for you guys, Scorpio. What is your advice for Scorpio, please? Feel loved and comforted? Indeed. I feel like that's what you need, Scorpio. For you guys to let go of fears, let go of the confusion, or let go of maybe that feeling where you don't want to really... Maybe that defensiveness, you know? That kind of we saw that seven of swords sneakiness and like not wanting to put this guy put this relationship out so you just need to feel love and comforted knowing that a lot of people are supportive of your decision people want to see you grow you also have here lord take charge with authority yeah this is the emperor that i'm talking about again wow the empress and the emperor energy oh my gosh you guys amazing empress and emperor amazing take charge with authority so this is truly meant to happen for you this relationship is for you and there will be success there there are a few challenges but overall it's positive it's promising and then animal guardian trust your instincts indeed so trust your instincts that's what the cards are saying and this could be also for the other person like in order to take charge and help redirect this connection however hard it is one needs to really trust their instincts and not let fear or obstacles, you know, um, manipulate their decisions. And likewise for you, Scorpio, right? It's best to stay tuned to your intuition every step of the way. So that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sending you all love and light and I'll talk to you guys soon.